Hi ladies, how are you? In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to contour and highlight your face. This has been highly requested for a couple weeks now and I finally got around to making it. Basically, um, by highlighting and contouring your face, it makes your face appear more thin. Like your nose, it makes it look smaller because you're contouring the sides and also your cheeks. So basically, it's just putting shadows in certain parts and it's highlighting other parts. So that way, when the light hits you, it's going to make your face appear more glowy and give it a bronze, nice look to it. Also, if you follow my Facebook page, I posted something about doing a vlog about, I guess a little bit about myself if you guys want to know anything. I know there's a couple questions that have been asked over and over again and it's it's hard to answer every single person. I do try my best, but basically if there are any questions that you want to know about me or if you do want to see some sort of vlog, you can comment below and I guess like whatever question you like the best and then I'll have one of those videos up next week. So thank you so much for watching and enjoy! First I'm applying my favorite foundation with my MAC Dual Fiber Brush. I'm using L'Oreal Magic Smooth Souffle and this is going to be going all over my entire face. One of the reasons I love this foundation is because I feel like since it's not a liquid it doesn't seep into my pores or clog my pores. First, taking my Sonia Kasha Concealer Quad and the lightest color, I'm going to be applying this right underneath my eyes. This is the first step in highlighting. What this does is it's going to remove any dark circles or any bags. In order to blend this in, you're going to want to pat the concealer. You don't want to smear it in because otherwise it won't cover anything and it won't stay lighter in this area. When you're highlighting underneath your eyes, you're basically going to make a sideways triangle. That way you're starting in by your nose and dragging it out towards your eyes. And you're also going to bring it all the way down to around your nostrils. Going back to my concealer quad, you're going to take the bottom, which is like a loose powder, and you're going to apply this over your concealer just to set the concealer. If you don't have this quad, you can use any kind of translucent powder. Taking the darker color concealer, I'm then going to be applying this right underneath my cheekbones. You'll see like a line where your cheekbone starts. If you put this underneath, it's going to help accentuate your cheekbones and make them pop out more. Using a brown eyeshadow, make sure that it's matte. I'm going to be taking a little bit of this on my finger and going over that same line where I had just highlighted below. Since you had just placed the concealer underneath it and then you're using such a dark color, it's going to make such a drastic change so it's going to make your cheekbones pop out more. Of course this looks super funny right now but I promise once you blend it, it looks really good. I'm then going to be doing the same thing to the sides of my nose. This is going to make your nose appear smaller. I had a couple of you ask what you can do to make your nose smaller. Well, just by contouring the sides of them, it really does make a difference. You're going to want to drag it up to almost where your eyebrows are, and you're going to also want to do it underneath your nose. Then taking any kind of fluff brush, you're just going to want to blend the sides of your nose in. I'm 
then using a MAC blush brush and also my L'Oreal True Match powder. Um, the name of this one is called Coco. It's, I think, the darkest shade that they make. This is what I'm going to be using for my bronzer. You're going to be applying this right above that dark brown line and blending it in upwards. Besides contouring your cheeks, you're also going to be applying this on the sides of your forehead. Also underneath your chin and along your jawline. Don't forget to drag this down onto your neck so that way your neck matches your face. You then can go back to the dual fiber brush and just blend in your entire face. That way the lines aren't as sharp and it just all looks way more natural. Then taking my MAC Mineralized Blush, which is my favorite, it's called Love Thing, and a MAC Blush Brush, I'm going to be applying this on my cheeks. By making this face, you can see really where the apples of your cheeks are, and that's where you're going to want to apply it. I'm then lining my lips with my Jordana Cosmetics lip liner. This is my favorite lip liner because it's basically skin color, so it's very natural. Taking this MAC pigment, it's called Vanilla. I'm then just going to be applying a little bit of this on the cupid's bow of my lips. This is again to highlight. And I'm also going to apply it right above my cheekbones. This is also going to just give your face a little bit of a shine. Mm -hmm. 